Guys, I was gonna be back with another video. Um, it was gonna be an installation video, and and in that installation video, I was gonna go with foam board installation. Installation, and that foam board installation I chose to go with was a Poly Pro uh, foam board that I got at um, that I got at Lowe's. And the reason I went with that because it's a metal building, guys. And I will be putting. I'm gonna try to be. I'm gonna try to put. OSB wood all around the shop, um, at least halfway through, if not the whole shop. And just so I can nail a, I can screw like a TV on the wall, a little shelving, anything like stuff like that. But I wanted to start off by insulating it first. So insulation was about, I say eight, $8.38 a sheet. Uh, and it's four foot, it's in a half, about a half an inch thick, or maybe an inch or so. Um, and I got 37 sheets. I got 37 foam boards you can see right here. I got 37 of these. And hopefully with this would do at least the three, the three panel walls, which is the main walls that I wanted to do. You know, I started over here guys. So, and I'm, I'm just cutting and, and measuring as I go along. Put a little scrap piece that I had up there. I'm just cutting and measuring as I go along. And I noticed a lot of people want to know, uh, I am using like the type of adhesive I'm using. I got one down here, I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna show you a fresh one. Uh, I am using this liquid nails, liquid nails, heavy duty, if it can focus. Construction adhesive is is for interior and exterior, and I got three bottles of those, and I'm using that for my uh, foam board insulation. And guys, um, I was talking to another fella about water getting inside of the shop. Water getting inside the shop. Now my concrete is flushed. My building is flush with my concrete. But I still had water issues, even when the rain would just, even when the uh, the wind would just blow it in. So uh, I went with a Loctite PL3 times stronger premium construction adhesive, and it's the brown color. I, I did that right there, and I can show you guys where I put it at. Give me one second. Let me walk outside. I can show you guys where I put that, where I put that uh, construction adhesive at, just to give you guys an idea. And guys, I did that construction adhesive all around the back corner because that's where my problem was coming in. It. I'm gonna show you guys right here. As you can see, I did the construction adhesive all on the back all on the back all the way down and it will give you the consistency i did i did a i did a bead of construction adhesive all the way across the back and the sides and when it dried up just a little bit i took my index finger my pointer finger and i just went around and i just beaded it in i just smushed it in so it can bond to the to the metal to the concrete that's my that was just, that's the whole goal you should be tackling metal to concrete and that helped out with the water not blowing in or anything because you can see a lot of these buildings like dollar general buildings like that they use that type of adhesive might not be that brand but they use that type of adhesive to bond the concrete to the the metal to the concrete so it can give a tight seal and guys I, that's what you need to do to put on your metal building guys to make sure you don't have water coming in coming in the building at all all across the back. I did it on the side. Can't really tell. Did it all on the side. Even though it is flush, guys, with the with the concrete, you still might have a little. You still might have a little water get inside the building, but it's not. It's not nothing to complain about. You know, it's not nothing to. Oh, I got water coming to my building here, guys. You know what I mean, like that. So that's what I did, guys. So. And I did a little bit inside too. I did a little bit of, little bit of that construction adhesive inside the building too. 
which I probably didn't need to do it, but I did it and I didn't really like it. Made a mess on my damn floor, but that's neither here nor there. It's done now, I can't get rid of it. Oh well. Um, like I said, I still did the uh, spray foam in the corners all the way up top on both sides of the of the uh, 14 gauge steel. I did it on both sides all the way around the building. You guys, these are my LED shot lights. And like I said, I still gotta put the little covers up there, tighten the wires up, stuff like that. Um, but that's, guys, that's what I'm doing. That's the project for today. So if you guys wanna see like a prop my camera or something like this, so you can see me cut pieces of, you know, of the foam board. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be the project for today. I'm gonna try to insulate as much as I can today. If not, I'll just pick up again tomorrow on it. Ain't in no big rush to do it, so it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna get as much done as I possibly can today, and we're gonna shoot for the best. Let me see if I can prop it up here. If I can prop something. Give me one second. So one wall might be four foot nine inches, one wall might be four foot eight inches, one, another wall might be four foot five inches or something like that. So you don't want to cut all of them the same <clears throat> and then you stuck with little small scrap pieces all the time. Like I, well, for instance, I took a scrap piece and put it above the door because it was a perfect fit. Um, so now I'm gonna I'm cut a piece. I think, I believe it was four foot nine inches. And I'm gonna go on like that. So, and I'm gonna cut it, instead of going the long ways, I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna be, cut, I'm gonna be cutting them this way. Instead of going, instead of sticking a whole thing on the wall like this. And guys, you can use an exacto knife, you can use a box cutter, anything like that, anything that's sharp. Cause all you do, you just wanna make a seam on it. And I'm just, I'm just using a regular, I'm just using a regular cutter like this. I mean, just enough, cause it's, I mean, it's not thick stuff, so you wanna do it like that. So guys, I'm gonna cut this piece and I'm gonna stick it on the wall. But first, let me take a little bit of measurement and do just like this. Expert in this. So, 
right. And if you cut a little bit, I always cut extra. I'd rather, be, I'd rather have more than enough for short. So that's what I'd rather do. Some guys might like different methods, but this is my first time doing this today. I don't really do projects like that on my own without supervision. <laughs> so this is a good, this is a good project for a guy that has a first guy in the garage and is a star. You know, you don't want to do big projects, so. I got a marker. Take a marker. And I take me a piece of board. I take a piece of two by four. This is long. Is it's long enough? That way I get a long line. Good straight line. And I just cut. Like I said, guys, you don't want to cut deep with it. You know, just enough to get through the bowl work. You know, just enough to get through the final part. Make sure your line is straight. If you need a level, take a level. Some people got different, you know. And this, is, and this, this piece of wood is a two by four. Uh, nothing's pretty straight for me. Gotta take your knife. You just, you don't have to, I mean, sometimes you really can't go along the line with it. So you just make a cut, go halfway. You want to meet yourself in the middle. Go on the other side, do the same thing. Just take a little construction adhesive. All right, guys. After you, after you measure and cut that, you want to. This is a scrap piece. This is the piece I need to put on the wall. So four by so four foot by eight. So what you do is let me put my gloves on right quick. You take your construction adhesive. I always stick a nail in mine. And take the extra off the nail and whatever. And guys, all you do is you just take a bead. Try to get the corners too. At least a little bit on it. I ordered three of these adhesive coffins. And I feel like I'm gonna need more. So you just just feel like until you feel like it's not enough, 
put more up there. I guess that's how you do that. I ran out of adhesive. I need another one. That really went fast. Jesus. Okay, let's go open up another adhesive, guys. Well, I'm going to finish this installation thing, and I don't know how long it's going to come. I don't know how long it's going to be for me to take to do this. Just had a newborn baby, so it might take two days, might take three days. But it will get done. It's going to get done just in time. And over, over time, I mean, I ain't got nothing but time, guys. So you along with me this journey. You mean just like, share, subscribe. Um, leave a comment below. What do you think I could do better to the shop? What do you think I could add to the shop? Anything like that, just, just let me know. Leave a comment below. Please don't say nothing negative because I will block you. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to finish this project and I'm going to the house to tend to my newborn baby. This is Everyday is Living. You guys have a wonderful day. Deuces.